if they win tonight and they go on to win the NBA title, are they then, in your mind, the best team that's ever played? No. They're the best team at this particular time in the history of the NBA. Uh, but what they have an opportunity to accomplish, what they've already done is remarkable to have tied the Bulls record uh, for the number of wins and a chance to set the all-time record. I don't know if people can appreciate this, how amazing it is to go through an entire NBA season, play 82 games, and only have single digits uh, if they won the game tonight as far as the number of losses. That's remarkable. Uh, it really, truly is. And there are a number of games that maybe people say that they should have lost, that they were lucky to win. Well, they had to do something good to win, but they also had a number of games where they just easily have won, and they did. So it's, it's a great performance and a great team, a very exciting team to watch. It's rare that I, in, in the years that I would DVR a game and want to sit and watch it if one of my boys wasn't playing. Uh, and now I do that, and I just look forward to actually watching this team play because they're so much fun to watch, and they're exciting. And Steph Curry is as exciting a player to watch as there's ever been in his own way. Michael Jordan was, of course, re remarkable. LeBron is incredible. A lot of so many great players. And Steph, in his own way, is truly remarkable, I think, to watch play. You just never know what he's going to do. I mean, the third quarter and the way he played in the second half of the game against the Spurs the other day was just outstanding. Yeah, Rick, it's amazing. I mean, he makes so many lucky shots that it's not luck. I mean, it's so many shots where that one handed off the backboard, I couldn't believe the one layup from about 12 feet away, it seemed like, was insane. That said, though, Rick, even though statistically they'll have it, you know, they'll have the record all time and they seal the deal and win the championship, they're still not, in your mind, the best team ever. So then who is? Yeah, well, that's very subjective. I mean, you have to just pick teams during their eras. The teams that dominate and play well during the time that they're playing are the best teams of that particular era. Uh, there's a lot of great teams. A lot of people think the 76ers in 1967 that we played in the finals was picked as one of the greatest teams ever. And then some of the Showtime Laker teams. And then you've got the Boston Celtics, obviously. You can choose from a number of teams that they had over the years. So it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's just good talk, you know. People want to get together and discuss it, have an argument or something about it, and hopefully do it in a peaceful manner. But there's been a lot of great teams in the league, and right now the Warriors are the best team in the NBA. And I just look at it as, as a team enjoyable to watch. And, and I think the Warriors are helping because they're doing like what the Spurs have done, and they've been the preeminent team, I think, over the last 10 to 15 years as far as the way they play the game. And now the Warriors are doing that. And then buttonholes are left the Spurs and went to the Hawks, and the Hawks are starting to play that way. And I think teams and coaches are finally realizing that, you know, let's get back to playing. And people say it's old school, but old school basketball is the way the game was designed to be played, unselfishly, passing it around, not all this one-on-one -on -one stuff. I mean, last year in the playoffs, it was almost embarrassing what they tried to get LeBron to have to do to help them try to win. There were so many times that LeBron – had the ball, brought it up the floor, and there was never a pass in the entire <laughs> possession. I mean, I mean, I'm talking about a lot because I wrote for the examiner during that time, and I charted it, and I was blown away. And then maybe only one pass, whereas the Warriors are passing it four, five, six times, and, and it's just fun to watch them play that way. And that's the way the game, I think, is more fun for the fans. It's more fun for the players. It's just better. To Rick, totally agree. We're sharing a brain on this one. It's Rick Barry. He is a basketball hall of famer hello everyone i spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos so please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page the link to my second page is in the description section thank you